What's going on my old pies? Welcome back to Goshen's Games and welcome back to another Sword Art Online Alicization Rising Seal video. Now, this is like a, an addendum to my previous video. If you watched my previous video, you know that Sinon and GGO Kirito are both coming to the game tomorrow night. Or tonight, I'm sorry, tonight, my bad, tonight. As well as their event. But, what I didn't do is actually go over the units. Now, um, there's going to be a part 3 to this, only because I have some issues and concerns with this. But, I'm going to save that for another video because that's that's more of like a rant video. But, we'll, we'll go over that. But, I wanted to actually go over the characters themselves and whether or not you should summon on these characters. Because, like, we need to do an actual analysis of this. So, GGO, Sinon, and Kirito are coming here. Ignited Memories, Gun Gale Online Scout begins. Alright, so, Sinon, overcoming the past Sinon, she has a mighty assault skill that can charge up incarnate gauge or incarnate skills faster than any normal skill. Plus, she's a break character that can lower the physical resistance of enemies. Her incarnate skill is the single enemy blunt attack, the end. And then, Meaning of Strength, Kirito has a mighty assault skill. That can charge up incarnate skills faster than any normal skill. He's a charge character skilled in break and charge. His incarnate skill is a single enemy slash attack assault combat. Now, this is kind of misleading just a little bit. Because it says he's a charge character skilled in break and charge. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go over the, <laughs> we're gonna over the characters themselves. Overcoming the past Xenon. Max HP 5400. Really low. Max MP 221. It's whatever. Attack 2300. Really high. Like she, I believe, has the highest attack in the game as of this moment. Magic attack 1830. Defense 1098. Magic defense 1218, which is actually really high. Crit 720, which is very nice. And speed 296, making her a little bit slow. All right. Her skills are snipe shot. Which is a break, blunt attack, strong on an enemy, lowers physical resistance by 20% for two turns, which is actually really good. Incarnate break, 50%. Pierce Palette is her assault skill. Blunt attack, extra strong on a single enemy. Incarnate charge, 10%, which is pretty average. Uh, heal kit, so she heals herself, but this is actually not a bad heal kit. So recovers own HP strong and raises attack by 20% for two turns. That is actually really good. Because she heals herself, number one. Number two, she already she raises her already extremely high attack stat by another 20%. So that is fantastic. The Xenon is a monster for single target enemy fights. She's a non-elemental, which I figured would be the case. Now, looking at the Kirito, I was hoping that Kirito would be a dark type. Nope, he's non-elemental just like he was when he first came out in Memory Defrag. Looking at his stats, his max HP is 6180, so decently high. Max MP, 245, which is actually decently high as well. His attack is 2050, and magic attack is 1800, making his attack stats pretty average. His defense is 1086, magic defense 1098. Again, just average. Crit, 630, which is a, like really low compared to Sinon. And his speed is 311, making him actually a pretty fast character. Which makes sense in comparison to like his anime counterpart. His skills are slash attack medium on single enemy. Kind of wish that was, I don't know, strong. Incarnate charge 20%. Slash attack extra strong on a single enemy. Incarnate break 25%, which is not bad. Okay, it's not bad. I think usually the incarnate break on assault skills is, I want to say like, 10 to 15 percent so it's not too bad uh he has a magic resistance uh, raises magic resistance of all allies by 20 percent for three turns i mean we've seen that on other characters so that's nothing too crazy assault combat level two incarnate slash attack on a single enemy so that's those are those two characters the banner is half off as always and the other characters that are in the banner are just the og characters that we've seen um now should you summon on this banner well Ah, the Sinon is not bad. 
She's not bad. She's actually pretty decent. I have some gripes with this, and I will get to that in my next video because that's, like I said, that's going to be a little bit of a rant video, but it's going to have... I'm going to talk about why I feel like this should have been handled a little bit differently. Um, but the Xenon's not bad. Her, her attack is really high. She's going to be one of the best single target damage dealers in the game because of the fact that she can raise her own attack stat by another 20% for two turns. That's, that's the important part is the two turns aspect of it. So I know a lot of you guys are super excited for Xenon and... I would say go for her if you if you're really excited for Sinon, go for go for Sinon. because again she is a fantastic unit but again you're running into a situation where you're summoning for two char uh, characters on the banner okay so you might be going for Sinon and you might not want Kirito and you end up getting Kirito that's that's all I'm saying okay she's a great character when it comes to uh, utility because she can lower the physical resistance by 20% which is very very good because I mean think about it lowers physical resistance by 20 turns and then you buff yourself by 20% so then you're like your your assault skill is going to do a tremendous amount of damage or if you do it right and you can get your incarnate attack oh my gosh she's gonna do tremendous amounts of damage on a single target enemy like a boss fight she will be decimating them her speed is slow she has high crit but her speed is slow so just keep that in mind uh, her HP is really low she's a glass cannon guys be careful with with Sinon when you throw her into battle because she's a glass cannon she can get one shot pretty easily uh, on certain boss fights I can see it happening now that's prolonged boss fights so for example if you were in uh, very hard cathedral and you were using Sinon the way that the cobalt ranks up his attack stat Sinon will get one shot so just keep that in mind because she's not an elemental now the Kirito he's okay he's okay nothing like super cool here like it doesn't really stand out it doesn't really stand out except that you know it's GGO trap Kirito but Nothing really that stands out with, with Kirito. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I know some of you guys are, are uh, Trap Kirito fans or whatever, but I, I prefer the weapon like when the weapons drop I would rather pull the weapons than Kirito and just like have the weapons and, and throw them on to my other characters just for fun So that way it feels like I'm playing like a, a Star Wars crossover with uh, with SAO, but There's better charge characters. I mean again his speed is, is really good but I mean, he's just okay. He's just okay. You know, that like, he doesn't lower defenses. He doesn't lower magic resistance. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't lower his speed for the enemy. He doesn't do anything, really, to be honest with you. He's just attacking. That's it. Like, you, you would think that maybe because the way that he is in, in the game, maybe he would be able to do something else. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like there should have been some sort of utility on, on GG Okirito and there really isn't anything. Again, this is them trying to balance things out. I mean, he, he's got high HP, but he's not like super tanky. And his attack stat is... I mean, it's not bad. His attack stat being at 2000 is not bad. I don't want you guys to think that, oh, you know, I'm, sh I'm shitting all over his attack stat. No, no, no. 2000 attack stat's not bad at all. But he's not buffing himself. He's not... He's not lowering defenses he's not really doing anything honestly like if you're gonna bring a break you're gonna bring a break character you know if you're gonna bring a charge you're gonna bring a charge he's a he's a good charge character because he's fast but there's so many charge characters out there that I, like overshadow him like I, I have I have uh, Yuki right so Yuki's a good charge character and she has evasion so she's actually very useful for certain situations and again she's fast so, Yuki kind of overshadows this Kirito a little bit. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the Kirito. But the Sinon is actually really good. I like the Sinon. I like the way they they balanced her a little bit. I mean, she's got she's a glass cannon. This is a, this is a hard one to decide whether you should summon or not. I mean, at least do at least do the discounted summon. 
That's that's what I say. At least do the discounted summon. If you really are, if you're super excited because it's seen on, she's your favorite character, then by all means go ahead. Um, I I just I don't know. It's like it, it's one of these situations where like the banner drops, you have one that's one character that's really good and another character that's just kind of meh. And then obviously you want the really good one, but then you end up getting the meh one, and then you're just kind of eh. All right, I have them for collection purposes, but I'm not really gonna ever use them type of deal. I, I don't know. I, I've never really been a fan of non-elemental characters. That's just me. Just because like they're not elemental, they do neutral damage to everybody, and I would rather use elemental characters because I find more use for them, just in general. Because because elemental characters, yes, they'll do neutral damage to everything, but then they have resistances to their opposite element they have and then they have uh, effectiveness against their opposite element so that's that's why it's like yeah <laughs> i don't know i just i've just never been a fan of non-elementals that's that's all but the key the key to told to me is just kind of he's just there really he's just there the xenon i can see being really really good and really useful because of her being able to increase the attack stat of herself and uh, lower the physical resistance. Like, those are the two biggest things. And, it, like, it gives her so much utility. It really does. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let's have that conversation. I want to know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, like I said, there will be a part three to this because I have some stuff I need to get off my chest for this, um, for this release. So, anyways, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. I will catch you all later. Thank you so much for watching. You old pies, stay cool.